Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, it's Angie here. Today we only have two Cosmic Girl songs, which is Done and Stronger and Stronger, a Dawan and Young Jung solo, which are duo, which makes me excited because I like I fell in love with Dawan's voice when I watched some covers. So to have that pairing's great. I kind of wish it was Dayung, but I get why it's Dawan. Um, but yeah, we only have two songs because we already heard Aura in the Queendom finale. And then, of course, we have the title track, so last sequence, so we already heard that one. Um, but yeah, let's have to the video. I feel like this is going to be such a fast video, so only two songs. Ooh! Starting with Solo, that's always a good thing. Also looks like a fairy. She kind of reminds me of um, not Rue. God from Euphoria. Oh, this build up. I'm nervous. Please be good. Okay, okay. I was hoping for a softer drop, but. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, so then. Oh my god, wait. Oh my, okay. Youngjung's part, it's, it's still like lingering. Youngjung's part is lingering in my head. Cause I was like, I was like, I wanted a softer drop and like less like, like heavy beat, but Young Jung's part made it kind of worth it. Okay, I like that back and forth. I still can't think of her name from Euphoria. Jules! She looks like Jules, and so. Oh my god. So much Sola. Mm, I like that one's love voice there. This part. Okay. You all gave my bias this part. Oh, screw you. I was like expecting Young Jung again. Jesus. I was hesitant about the song. Because of the chorus, but then it just kind of. It solidified its reasonings. And everything connects so nicely. It, it was so well worth it. My god. It, it's so magical. Oh my god, that's probably one of my favorite songs this year. I do think, considering Young Jung is gonna be on the other song, I'm like, how do I word it? I, I am okay with her getting her parts, but Sola just got that part at the end, which makes me think Sola could have had Young Jung's parts, where it goes like, um, no, how do I word this? So yeah, Sola could have had Young Jung's first parts, the first two break up in the end now parts, and then Young Jung could have had the ending. And then maybe give, hmm, maybe give Subin Sola's chorus to then give Luda Subin's part to give Yoram Luda's part. So that way they can have more lines, considering Dawan and Youngjun are getting the strong song. Um, but it's not that big a deal. I'm just like, I kind of wanted a bit more Yoram maybe, 
or like a bit more whoever had less lines like give them some of those lines to kind of even it but it wasn't but like it's because i heard sola could do it otherwise i wouldn't have thought that um but yeah i liked it it was great and i love that oh my god it's one of my favorite cosmic girl songs for sure it's young james Park just got me like okay i love their makeup their makes their makeup so fun this comeback i feel like makeup's boring in k-pop okay we are going okay i will be watching them on weekly but it'll be a little late Jesus, this is exactly what I would want that one's solo album to sound like. Ooh, the echo. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, that reminds me of a Young J song from about seven. Especially the echoiness, the echoey parts. Yeah, the voices sound really good together. Such a beautiful song. Jesus. Oh my god, the song Never Enough from The Greatest Showman, it reminds me of that, like it's giving me goosebumps, like eternally, I'm not really getting goosebumps, sadly. Like their voices are carrying it mostly, like, like not the instrumental, it's them. It's helping, but it, it's mainly them. It reminds me of the spaces between from Descendants a little bit. Like not as like this is better, but <laughs> Descendants too, I think. With Eve and Mal, Evie. That one's killing this. Like, both of them are killing it, but I just love that one's voice. Wow, that was beautiful. This is definitely my favorite Cosmic Girl album. I haven't heard too many. Oh, I actually, I've heard a lot, but I haven't heard, like, all of them. So, hey, up for debate. There's only four songs, but I love Aura and I love Last Sequence, so. For sure, it's my favorite song collectively. Like I like every song. I feel like every other, every all the other albums, um, there's at least one song I don't like, and I love all of these. Very sad. It's so short of an album, but I'm glad because it means I love at least everything. So that's good. Um, but yeah, definitely, t totally like uh, fine that it's small. Because we also had Chocomay in the beginning, so it's not like we were lacking too much. But I do hope we have another album before the year's over, because I want more. But then again, I'm fine, because I, I can just, like, listen to an old album. I don't think I have many left, though. But we'll see. I mean, it's Starship, so they usually have a lot of albums. But I don't remember that many being left, but who knows. Regardless, definitely my favorite. And both of those songs, Done and Stronger, are strong. They're definitely going to be some of my favorite songs this year. Um, let me know your favorite down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
Baby, I'm ready for you. Oh, oh, oh. 